on this part, we're going to create this model. So whenever you click in here, you're going to get this model, which has create status. And also what do you have in mind? You can optionally select an image and then you also have a create button. So for that, let's go to Visual Studio. In here, similar to create story, we are going to create a partial view. So just in here, in the models, right click, add a view, add, and then underscore create status, add. Here we are going to write all the code. Compared to the create story, can just scroll up in here. We can just copy this div, paste it in here. Let's close the div. But we need to change the ID from create story to create status because we have defined it in here. So create status, go in here, and then create status. Then inside here, let us create a div, div. And then inside this div, I'm going to define some classes. And these classes basically set this element as a UI kit model dialog with relative positioning. It hides the overflow content. It centers it horizontally. It gives it a wide background. It applies an extra large shadow. It also adds rounded corners, sets the width to 520 pixels on medium screens and makes it full width on smaller ones. Then inside this div, we are going to create another one. And we are just going to define some other classes related to the border, to the text being centered. And then here we're going to have an h2 tag, which is going to have the value create status. Let's also add some CSS classes. And these are going to be the text small, font medium, and also text block. And also create in here the close button. To create the close button, just after the h2, I'm going to use the button tag. We're going to define the type to be button. And then let us define some classes related to the positioning and everything else. But it's really important to also define that whenever you click this button, this is going to close the model. Inside this button, I'm going to also define an SVG. So we have the H2, we have this div. Now, after this div, the same way as in the create story, I'm going to define a form. But I'm not going to define any controllers or action or ang type. I'm just going to define inside the form a div. And then to this div, I'm going to set some CSS classes. And these classes just add a vertical spacing of five units between child elements and a top margin of three units and padding of two units on all sides. Then inside this div, we are going to define the text area. And this text area is going to also have some classes where we define the element to be full width, ensure that the text and placeholder text are black, apply a white background, make the border transparent, including on focus. We remove the focus ring. We use normal font weight and set the font size to extra large. We are going to also define other properties, which are, for example, a name. And you can just name this, let's say, content. You can also define an ID. You can also define rows. Let's say this is going to have two rows by default and also a placeholder where you basically just ask the users, what do you have in mind? So this is all about the text area. Now we are going to create another div and this div is going to be about file upload. So in here, just create a div. And then in here, I'm just going to set some classes. And these classes basically just create a flex container with centered items, a gap of two units between items, small text size, medium font weight, padding of two units vertically and four units horizontally, and allows items to wrap onto multiple lines. Let us also define in here an input, which is going to be for the image that we can optionally upload. So image upload. We can define the type to be a file. We can define the class to be hidden by default. You can also define a name, let's say uploaded content. And you can also define that you want to accept just PNGs and JPEGs similar to in here. So I can just copy this part. 
and then paste it in here. Next, we're going to have the image container, which is going to be just a div. And here we're going to set an ID of, let's say, image preview container, which by default is also hidden. And then inside here, we can have an image tag. And this image tag is going to also have an ID. Let's call it image preview, which doesn't have any source or the source is just Let's say a hashtag by default, but it does have a class which does set the width to be full and it does set the height to auto and it's also rounded. After this div, we are going to create the image button. Let's create a button. Let's define in here type button. Let's also define an ID since we have in here image upload. Here we have image preview. Let's just define this as image upload btn. We can also define some classes and I can type in here that I want to have all these classes, which basically just create a flex container with standard items, a light sky blue background, sky blue text, fully rounded corners, padding of one unit vertically and two units horizontally and a two unit sky blue border. Then inside this button, we can use an icon. And for that, we said that we can use the tag I O N and then icon. The name is going to be image and the class is going to be text base. Let's also define text value, image, and that's it. This is all for the form or for the body or the image preview section. But we're going to also have a create button, which we can have after this div inside another div. So for that, just down here, let's create a div. Let us define the class where we want to have a padding on all sides of five. This is going to be a flex container justified between and also items are going to be centered. Let's also define another div which also has the class flex item centered and a gap of two. And let's also define a button. And this button is going to be of type submit, which means that whenever you click this button inside this form, a request is going to be sent to the action and the controller that we're going to define in this form. Let's also add some classes to this button. And these classes just style the element as a button with a blue background, white text, padding of two units vertically and 12 units horizontally, and a font size of 14 pixels. And let us define the text of this button to be created. Let us save all the changes. Now we did create the partial view, but we need to define it in the index.c sharp HTML. So let's just scroll down in here, copy paste this line. And then load create story and also create status, save all the changes and run this project. Now, here, if we just click in here, we are going to get this pop up. And the same way, if you click on this icon, you're going to get the same pop up. On the next part, we're going to create a sample post and then we're going to load that post on the screen.